What is up, Swarm? Corey here with Honeyland, and uh, man, uh, quick confession. These videos usually take me like one or two takes. Uh, I I'm like on take 11 right now. I don't know what's going on. My brain is half fried now. I don't even really know what I'm saying anymore. So hopefully I can get through this one and get this right. Bear with me. All right, so what I wanna talk about is uh, we're in the final two weeks of 2023. It's been an incredible year, uh, and as we start to look out to 2024, it is going to be uh, gangbusters. Like I'm already starting to put together um, the, the plan, the vision, the goals, everything that we're gonna execute and accomplish in 2024. Uh, we've got an annual team planning meeting next week where we'll really solidify all that. And then I promise you guys, I will have a vision speech that I'll share with all of you live uh, in January at some point uh, so that you guys can understand and see everything that we have uh, that sits in front of us. However, we still have two more weeks in 2023 and I don't want to write that off yet because we have some really exciting things. First is gonna be the player to player marketplace, the ability to buy and sell Honeyland NFTs inside of Honeyland using HXD. And we are in the final, final stages of testing. So for about the last two weeks, we've been testing builds internally, not just from the studio, but from like our actual team. And um, what this means is like, we get a build, we test it, we find some errors, we push it back, they fix them, they push a new build, we test them, et cetera, et cetera. We've been doing that. We get closer and closer and closer every time. And while I will say it's not like 100% perfect, we can still find small little bugs or errors. It is really, really close. And I think that we'll be there before the end of this week. And you guys will have the ability to start buying and selling those. Couple things that I will say. Number one, I would consider this like a late stage beta. So it will, you'll have the ability. We've tested everything from a technical perspective. You can buy, you can list, you can sell, you can stake, unstake, you could change the price, you can delist. All of that technically will work from any of the connections, Soulflare, Phantom, if you're using a Google or an Apple ID, we've tested it from everywhere. But we're still getting to a point where like the first time I try and do something, I might mean, get an error and then I submit it again and all of a sudden it goes through. This is just working out those final like connection points. Uh, it could be seven days, it could be two hours, it could be um, three weeks, I don't know exactly. We're not gonna hold the whole thing up because of this. So I would say, consider a late, late stage beta I think by the time we head into 2024, it will really, really feel polished. We'll have everything worked out. We'll collect a ton of feedback from you guys, but be slightly patient. Understand the user experience will be fantastic with the exception of maybe just some small little bugs or glitches that you'll experience. Report those to us, let us know. Couple other things. Number one, uh, the, uh, the only listings that you're gonna see are the listings in HXD. And so since this is brand new, like everything on Magic Eden right now is listed in Seoul, we don't pull those listings in. So the only way if you're listing on Magic Eden to have those pull into uh, Honeyland is if you actually, there's gonna be an option on Magic Eden that you could say list in Seoul or list in HXD. If you list that in HXD, it'll pull into Honeyland. Um, now, everything that you're listing inside of Honeyland will automatically push to Magic Eden. So if you wanna get the greatest visibility for your NFTs, list them inside of Honeyland. You'll be, uh, you'll be discoverable in both Honeyland as well as Magic Eden. If you are listing on Magic Eden, make sure you list in HXD instead of Seoul so that you get all the discoverability inside of our game. But with that said, we'll have a couple, maybe dozen listings, like when it first comes out of the gate, these will be some that like, I'll list some of my assets uh, just so that we have stuff in there, not that I'm like dying to sell, but things that I'm willing to sell, I guess, and uh, to give you the ability to start to see some assets in there. But as you guys start to list more and more assets, that will really fill up. Uh, it should make it a little bit fun early on, but again, late stage beta, meaning we'll need to populate that thing. I think as we look 30 days out, we'll have uh, like hundreds of listings inside of the marketplace in the app listed in HXD, will be fully flourishing. And I think that this will increase the transaction volume by multiples just because it's so much easier to do it in the game with HXD. I think that we'll start to find that this becomes really, really fun and unlocks this for so many more people who maybe could have never figured out how to get onto Magic Eden put soul in a wallet, export private keys, except just all of that crazy web three stuff. We really want this to feel web two. Thing number two that you should know is that if you want to list an asset inside of the game, if you have an NFT in your wallet and you want to list it, you will need to have soul inside your wallet in order to list that. So the reason I even point this out is because everything that we do inside Honeyland up to this point has been what we call gasless transactions. You may not have even noticed it, but if you come in, you don't have to have any soul in your wallet. And if you do, no soul has ever disappeared from anything that you've done inside of Honeyland. And so because of that, we just charge you HXD. We pay the actual gas fees, the sole gas fees on chain to make those transactions happen. It's a really cool system that we've built. With this, we're tying into Magic Eden's smart contract. And so we don't have the ability to be the payer of those fees to Magic Eden. Um, they require it to be directly from the wallet that's gonna be listing. 
With that said, we are working on a, a much more elegant solution down the road that will allow us to deposit a small amount of like a micro amount of soul into your wallet before a listing, uh, if you don't have any, so that you so that we can pay those gas fees for you, or you'll have enough soul to pay those gas fees. Um, and so that will be a much more elegant solution. It's probably seven to 14 days out. And so if you are trying to list immediately, just make sure you have a little bit of soul in your wallet. We expect that a lot of our Web3 users will be the early adopters here. You'll probably either be logging in with soul, Soulflare or Phantom anyways, and have a little bit of soul. If you don't though, just find whatever your, uh, public, uh, your public ID is and just send a little bit of soul to that wallet. Like literally 0.05 soul will get you you tons and tons of transactions. All right, thing number three is, uh, if you right now, you'll notice that we've been doing a ton of test transactions. Um, if you go look at any of these on like SoulScan or um, uh, Salon FM or any of the, the Salon Explorers, you'll notice that the Magic Eden contract part of things where it says like what things were listed at will show the amount, uh, the, 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 the amount of HXD that it was listed for but we'll show that it was actually sold. So like if I list something for 500 HXD, it'll actually show 500 sold. Now, whenever that's sold and the transaction takes place, all the movement of things on chain actually shows HXD, so that's correct. But Magic Eden is working on getting that squared away right now. So again, small little bugs, late stage beta, expect a small few little hiccups, but overall, I think you guys are gonna be blown away by this experience. I should also mention there are several optimizations that we plan to make over the next couple of weeks as well. So little things like when you buy an NFT, right? You'll get a little success message. First off, we want this success message to be like, hey, congratulations, here's your new NFT, fall in love with it. And then we wanna immediately give the ability to stake it so that you could put it in the game and start playing with it. Something right now that you'd actually have to go to the staking feature and manually stake it. And so little things like that that will be optimizations. Again, late stage beta uh, from the performance side as well as just kind of the optimization and feature side. But we believe this is good enough. It's better than anything out there already. Uh, you guys will fall in love with it and it will just get better and better and better over time. Um, by the end of this week, I'm hoping that you'll be buying and selling NFTs in HXD inside of Honeyland. All right, let's move on. What's next? So. Um, Couple other project announcements. Treasury lands were finally unlocked this morning. Um, we hold 200 treasury lands, 200, I believe, yeah, 5%, 200 of the 4,000 total lands. And we do this so that we can create like entry fees or like that we can use specific lands for, for specific things. Uh, entry fees, I did not mean to say that. Entry conditions to, sp to, to specific lands. So if you do X or have X, you can get into this land. If you don't have X or do X, you cannot. Uh, there's a number of plans that we have in the future for this. But for right now, like we have the tutorial lands, right? So bees in the, the, the new players as they're onboarding for those first couple days, they need to go to tutorial lands. These are treasury lands that we use, we gate. So the entry condition to get into those is you must be on day X of the tutorial in order to get into those lands. It's a good example. But we also have a lot of these that we don't have an entry condition for right now that we've just been kind of holding on to. As the universe gets more and more full, People have been like, hey, unlock those lands, yo. Uh, and you guys are right, we should have those lands unlocked. So we did unlock those. There's gonna be a number of lands that are open today, about 180 lands that are open today that weren't open yesterday that you can start freely exploring. Uh, go get those. But be aware that we still reserve or we own those as the treasury. And from time to time, we may actually put entry conditions on those lands. So lands that were once available to you may not be available unless you meet those entry conditions. That could be things like you have to hold a pass, you have to log into our game for 30 days in a row, you have to do A, B, or C, all these different things that we can set as kind of incentivized entry conditions to get into these lands um, that'll be really, really cool. We have a lot of plans for that. It just has not been a priority. So until it becomes a priority, we wanna make sure that you have access to those lands, particularly as the universe starts to get more and more competitive. With that being said, we've talked about this tiered having. We are getting close on the tiered having. Technically, we have everything ready to go. We just need to feverishly test this as well. Um, and so expect, I, I'm hoping that around the end of this month is when we will have everything tested. Although I would say give us, you know, till the middle of January, sometime between the next, I would say 10 to 30 days, we should have this live. I know I said that at the beginning of this month as well. Um, we're kind of pushing it back a little bit. Marketplace took just a little longer than we thought. Um, technically, like I said, we're good. If testing goes well and we don't run into any bugs or errors, it could be very, very soon. My guess is there's gonna be a couple things that we need to, to, to fix or correct. And because of the implications of just the, the, the broader economy um, and every mission that the, the number, I mean, we have over 200,000 harvesting missions being done every single day inside Honeyland. Can you imagine if we just get this wrong, the chaos that it would uh, that would ensue? And so we just need to make sure that we have this completely dialed in. And then there's been some questions and conversations around what about hunting, uh, the, the, the entry fees? What's gonna happen to those? Um, the plan had always been that we would have like a halving of those uh, entry fees as well. 
I think we are backing off of that and saying, let's just let the market dictate what a hunting entry fee should be. So if somebody's land is fully staked, let's say it gets to level five uh, in early January, and they just, they can charge up to one full HXD as an entry fee. Well, if they're not an extreme land or they're not a very desirable land uh, to hunt, and they try and charge one HXD, players will probably just go elsewhere. Or if we find that we can buy items in the shop cheaper, then we can actually go get them through hunting. Great. So the market will actually determine what the entry, the max entry fee should be. We want landowners to have some control. We call it low management um, earning as well. And so having that some sort of low management will give them an advantage. Um, and then players who want to hunt can kind of decide if and when that makes sense for them. So hopefully that gives you a, a sense of kind of what we can expect with the tiered having, um, the, the the entry fees, what's gonna happen there. Uh, again, timeline, I will keep you posted, uh, but the if you just wanna, if you're in Discord, exclamation point, having, we'll give you all the details that you need to know that we know right now. All right, couple other announcements. Uh, these are with collaborations. So number one, Star Atlas, we were supposed to have a collaboration go live tomorrow with them. Um, I don't wanna blame anybody, but uh, everything's ready on our side. Uh, they asked if they could have an extra week last week. So we said, cool, let's do it uh, tomorrow on the, what, 21st? Uh, no, 2019th uh, is when we were gonna start and, and go live. And uh, that's tomorrow. They reached out to us this morning and said, hey, listen, uh, we're just not ready. There's some other things that have become much higher priorities. We're gonna have to kick this thing to January. So uh, if you're familiar with the Star Atlas culture, four to six, uh, this shouldn't be a big shock to you. If you're not familiar with Star Atlas, uh, don't worry. We will get you introduced to them through this collaboration. Should be really cool. Just gonna be sometime in January and uh, we will have more announcements as it gets closer. The cool thing is we get to like, get get it to take advantage of kind of the uh, the marketing side of this twice. We already got it. Uh, it'll kind of fizzle out and then we'll get to kind of announce or launch it again, almost as if it's new next time this happens. And um, so anyways, we'll go there. And then the final thing is, uh, I'm going to be doing a, a, a AMA with Neo Tokyo on this Wednesday. Um, I don't remember the time right now. I think it's, uh, I don't know. Let me see. I, I can probably figure it out quickly. Um, let's see. It will be at um, 1 p.m. Pacific time. I'll be doing a uh, AMA with Neo Tokyo. This will be on the Neo Tokyo Twitter account. Um, Neo Tokyo is a big gaming and crypto community. Uh, this will be a, a good opportunity for us. Um, generally, projects see a, a lot of uh, kind of uh, if they're good projects, uh, which I think we are. Uh, we'll start to see a lot of kind of that that community look for ways to to support or get a, a, a investment or opportunities into it. So uh, we hope to see some cool um, either partnerships or collaborations or speculation or investors coming in at that time. I should also mention that the biggest story of last week was probably the bonk and the Solana Saga mobile phone, right? Um, I still have six Solana mobile phones. They're sitting right there on my desk. Uh, I put a pile of them together um, and we wanna find ways to give these away. On the Neo Tokyo AMA, we are gonna give one away. Uh, we wanna get as many people to that as we can. We want to show Neo Tokyo the Honeyland support, what we bring as a community. And uh, we also wanna get as much of their community to kind of listen to uh, what we have to offer uh, as a project. And so uh, we're gonna be giving away a Solana uh, mobile phone, a Saga phone. And then we should have, we've got several more to give out through really, really cool, fun things. Justin and I and the team, we're working on fun ways that we can do that. Uh, I don't need to hang on to these. Uh, I would love for you guys, I'd love for them to get into your hands. We are not selling them, uh, but we are gonna find ways that we can get them into the hands of our community through whatever ways, incentivized kind of programs. We may raffle one off inside the game when raffles go live, uh, which should be towards the end of this month or early January. Um, so a lot of really cool things that we're thinking about. All right, I've gotta get back to testing the marketplace. That's all I got for you guys today. I absolutely love you. Zub, zub.